Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook pixel to your WordPress website. I'm going to show you how to um, how to get the pixel, how to install it on the site. And then I'm also going to show you how to set up a custom event code on your site. That's this is that's kind of a tricky part that um, I get asked a lot of questions about and I've never addressed it before in any of my content. So I want to show you how to do that um, so that you can start running ads to your to your funnel and start signing some more clients. So, all right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a Facebook pixel. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video how exactly to create the pixel. I'm going to direct you to this blog article where I show you with screenshots how to go through and do that. And I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna actually show you how to create a new pixel because once you create a pixel, you can't delete it. And I don't really wanna have an extra pixel lying around on my Facebook ad manager. So. I'm going to point you to this post. I'll link it below in the description so that you can um, you can go and and uh, look at those at those images to see how to create the pixel. And then once you have your pixel generated, it'll look something like this when you um, are in your Facebook ads manager. And so and it will it will also prompt you to um, install the Facebook pixel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, walk through that installation process. Um, so I'm going to go to set up and install pixel and that will prompt me to do that. So this is the pop up you will see after you've created your pixel for the first time. I'm going to manually add pixel code to my website. I'm going to copy the code to, to my clipboard and then I'm going to log into WordPress. This is my this is a sample WordPress site. I come over here to install to installed plugins and then I'm going to click add new. And the plugin that we're going to install is called headers and footers scripts. I've typed it in before, so my Google remembers. <laughs> and it will load up here. This is what it looks like. Um, you just want to make sure that it's still compatible with your version of WordPress and that it's been updated recently, like within the last month or so. Um, there may come a time when far in the future when this plugin is no longer um, viable and so I don't I want to make sure that like in this case untested with your version of WordPress that's not great like we we really would prefer it be compatible so let's click install now if if it becomes uncompatible I will try to link below um, a plugin that will work as an alternate but for now as of May 2020 it's just fine so click um, install and then activate and then I'm going to move my head over here to get out of the way so you've got your Facebook pixel that you copied from here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install that main pixel code to our site. And we can do that by coming over here to settings and then header and footer scripts. And you are just going to paste the code right into this scripts in header box. And what that will do is it will put the code at the very top of every single page on our website um, in the header of the page, which means it will load as soon as the page loads, which is really great. That way it'll send all of, um, the information that we want it to send to Facebook. All right, and then we'll click Save Settings. And that is how you install your basic WordPress pixel across your whole site. That will apply it to every single page so that um, you, can, you can start running ads and tracking visitors to your site. Now, if you want to, um, and you can actually test this, let me show you. I'm just, I clicked up here to um, go to my WordPress site and um, you can actually test this by installing the Facebook Helper Google Chrome extension. Um, and this shows you that there is one pixel found on this site, which is super handy. You can also um, view, view the pixel to see that it's on the site by clicking view page source. And this opens up a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, which you know you don't need to understand. But what I'm going to do is control F to open the little search bar here. And then I just type in FB and that shows me, um, look, here's the Facebook pixel code that we just inserted in our site, which is super great. Um, and you can also come back here to Facebook and click continue. And um, and we once we click out of this, which don't do that yet because there's another step that I wanna show you. Once we click out of this, um, Google, or not Google, Facebook will allow us to test that it's receiving data from that pixel. And that's another way that you can just double check that it's actually working. Okay, so sometimes I get asked how to install a custom event code, which essentially is a little tiny snippet from, um, from Facebook that allows you to track conversions on a specific 
like thank you page. So you can see if people opted in or not to your list or whatever other conversions you want to track. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, the way that you get the code for that is for this event setup tool is what it asks you. Um, the, the next step after you've copied this code and you've put it on your site, actually here you can see as well that I, it's testing it and it says that it's working. That um, basic code, so you click continue and then it's going to say, hey, now that you've installed the pixel base code, you can use, um, you can track additional conversions and it's gonna ask you to use its event setup tool. That's not what I'm gonna show you how to do here. I'm gonna show you how to add the event code manually. And so what you'll do is you'll click this manually add event code button. And then I recommend, it's gonna give you some options for event codes. I would just say use the complete registration code. I would just toggle off send event parameters and just copy this code right here that says complete registration. Um, and it's gonna tell you to insert the event code just below the head tag. Um, but that's just to make sure that loads this this little snippet loads after your your base Facebook code snippet the big long one that we just added so um, I'm going to copy this code to the clipboard and then I'm going to come over to the site and I'm going to go to the page I'm going to go to pages and then I'm going to click on the page where I want this code to be loaded and in my in my case it's um, the th the value video page because that's the thank you page for I have my opt-in page and the value video page is the confirmation page. So after somebody opts in on that opt-in page, this is the page they see. So if someone hits this page, I know that they have, um, I know that they have completed their registration. And so this is the page that I want to add that code on. I had already added it earlier, <laughs> as you can see. What you do is you just come to this page and you scroll down, and it'll say insert script into head into the head tag. And so all you need to do is just paste in that code that you copied from Facebook here just a second ago, that little snippet. And then you click update. And then um, you can test that it's actually appearing the way that you want it to by um, clicking on, let's see, once you click update, it will actually prop, pop up, it should pop up a little um, page updated and you can click view page. And this is what my value video page looks like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click again and click view page source. I'm gonna control F to click, uh, to search for the Facebook event code. So you'll see here is the base code. And then right under that is that complete registration code that we pasted in. So um, that's super easy way to see that it, it actually is on the page like we wanted it to be. Um, you can also test it by coming over here to this um, little pop-up and it says go to test events. And so you can click on that to, um, to know if it's working or not, you come over here and I'm going to actually paste in the link to this page. Click open website. And I'm interacting with this page and look, it says, all right, we're receiving activity. And so we're good to go. We know that our Facebook pixel is functioning and the event code is functioning exactly the way that we want it to. So that is how you install a Facebook Pixel event code. It's also how you install the base code. Um, it's really pretty straightforward. Only those two little pieces of code are usually all that you need at the very beginning. So um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this. And if this was helpful, definitely subscribe so that you can get future tech tutorials like this to help um, market your coaching business.